Which of the following statements are correct about fetal circulation? Let us look at options one by one. Pulmonary vascular resistance is low. It is low in the postnatal age, but fetal life pulmonary vascular resistance is high because lungs are not taking part in gas exchange. So blood supply does not happen to the lungs. The pulmonary vascular resistance being high prevents that blood supply from reaching there. It is a dead end in the lungs. So this is a false statement, right? Option number two, umbilical arteries carry deoxygenated blood. It is a true statement. Lungs are collapsed and filled with fluid before life. We are talking about fetus. So it is also a true statement. Source of oxygen in fetal circulation is the placenta is a true statement. And so what are the correct options? Two, three, four. So option number B is your correct answer. So I hope you know the basic fetal circulation. The key points are oxygenated blood from placenta. It goes to umbilical veins passes through ductus venosus, reaches IVC and then enters the right atrium. In right atrium, one third of the blood enters left atrium through foramen ovale and reaches the left ventricle, which is supplied via ascending aorta to the upper limb and head and neck. This is important because this is the blood which is reaching, which has, which has a higher oxygen concentration. And so the brain receives blood with higher oxygen concentration with a relatively less mixing. On the other hand, two-third of this blood reaching the right atrium that mixes with the venous return coming from superior vena cava and it enters the right ventricle. Very small amount goes to the lungs. Through ductus arteriosus, a majority of this is transferred to descending aorta and into systemic circulation. So in a fetus also, the upper limb and head and neck receive more oxygenated blood compared to the lower limbs and internal organs. It is a statement-based thing, which is, which is an old statement-based question.